All right, we're going to compare and order decimals, and when you compare and order decimals, you're going to do that just like you would any other numbers that you're comparing. So, you start with the first number, 0, 0. It's the same. 3 and 2. Well, 3 is greater than 2, so that makes the 38 hundredths greater than 29 hundredths. Next, we got 15 hundredths and 18 hundredths. So again, start with the 0. They're the same. The tenth place, they're both 1. The hundredths place, I got a 5 and then an 8. Well, an 8 is greater than a 5, so 18 hundredths is greater than 15 hundredths. Another way you can think about that is 15 cents is less than 18 cents. And then the last one. Uh, again, we start with the zero, the same. The tenths place, nine and nine, it's the same. The hundredths place, three and three, it's the same. Now, this first number has two more zeros. Well, the second number doesn't have any zeros, but you can add zeros there, because you can add zeros all day long and never change the number on a decimal like that. So we keep comparing, zero, zero is the same, zero, zero is the same. So these ones are actually equal. The other thing, if you didn't want to add those zeros to the first, to the second number, you could have just taken them off the first one. 93 hundredths is the same as 93 hundredths. All right, so now I got a list of numbers here, and we're going to order them. And make sure when you order them, you pay attention to what it's asking for. So for this, I'm going to go least to greatest. Sometimes it'll ask you for greatest to least, so just make sure you're paying attention to which way it wants you to do it. So we look at the first um, number. It's 2 and 1 tenths, and then 21, and then 21 hundredths, and then 21 thousandths. So when I read those, the one that had the least place value was the 21,000. So that's going to be my least. Next, I had 21 hundredths. And then 2 and 1 tenth. And then 21. So you can kind of reason this out. So that first one was 21 hundredths. That's like 2 cents. The second one would be like 21 cents. The third one would be like $2.10, and the third one would be $21. So if you think that in terms of money, it'll help you um, order your numbers. All right, so one more list of numbers. We're going to put them in order. Again, we'll go least to greatest. So, on this, we need to look at the numbers. So, First one, our whole number for all of these is 8. So you look at the next digit. I got a 2, a 2, a 1, and a 3. Well, 1 is the lowest, so that's going to be my first number going least to greatest. One, 8 and 18 hundredths. Next, we look at the next place value. Well, we had two twos there, so we look at the two twos and look at the next place value. So this one has a 1. This one has nothing, so you can think of a zero there. One is greater than zero, so eight and two tenths is the next one. If you add that zero there, don't put it in when you order your numbers. You want the numbers to be in the original format, which will be more important when we get into uh, fractions. Well, and then the next one would be eight and 21 hundredths, and then the last one, eight and 30 hundredths. So that's ordering from least to greatest.